Welcome back. Acne. It is embarrassing, painful, and something many of us thought we would outgrow after our teenage years. But for some women like myself, hormonal acne pops up each month like clockwork. So in this week's Your Best Life, I talk with women's hormone expert Elisa Vitti about what's really going on and how we can get clearer skin naturally. Elisa Vitti is a functional nutrition and women's hormone expert whose books Woman Code and In the Flow have helped millions of women get their cycles in check. She says acne is a key complaint for many women, but it's really just biofeedback from your body telling you something's out of balance. What we want to do is go to the root causes and not fall into the seductive trap of spot treating symptoms. Instead of reaching for a chemical treatment or a pimple cream, VD says start taking note of when you usually get breakouts during your cycle. If you're having that acne during ovulation, that's indicative that your body is not processing that estrogen surge really well, right? You're overwhelmed by your estrogen and it's going to show up on the level of the skin. If you have the um, issue in the luteal phase where you start to see lots of acne, not just on the jawline, but also on other parts of the face. Again, this is just another example of that imbalance ratio between estrogen and progesterone. VD says if you break out all the time, the cause could be inflammation. If your pimples pop up when you're stressed, it could be high cortisol. But her recipe for clear skin in all of these cases starts with the foods you eat. So for ovulatory breakouts, Add more cruciferous veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. If your period causes pimples to pop up, reach for progesterone-boosting foods like beans, kale, and pumpkin. If you break out all the time, load up on inflammation-fighting foods and ones high in omega-3s like salmon and egg yolks. And if your zits come around when stress kicks in, focus on balancing your blood sugar and limiting actual sugar. PMS is not normal. Any symptom of PMS that you have, be it breakouts, bloating, headache, um, you know, moodiness, breast tenderness, all of that can be absolutely traced back to the fact that you are making too much estrogen and you're not making enough progesterone. Once you balance that ratio and have more progesterone and less estrogen, you will not have that breakout. You will not have that bloating. You will not have that mood swing. You'll just feel great. Now, finally, VD says what you eat is just as important as what you don't eat. So she suggests steering clear of things like dairy, canola and vegetable oils, caffeine and gluten. And she also suggests five key supplements for clear skin. You can find out more on that on a story I did with VD a couple of months ago. It's on our website, along with all of these details, kcentv.com.